This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. Welcome back, everybody. Here at New Day, we are always looking to share easy, delicious recipes that are also good for us. We want to keep it positive. So here to help from Rebel Aligned Wellness, Lindsay Francis. How are you? Great. How are so you? Rebel Aligned Wellness, what is it? We uh, host a lot of wellness workshops here in the Puget Sound mm -hmm. area. We are, Maggie and myself are both yoga instructors, so that is part of our primary focus, but all eight limbs of yoga. So not just physical practice, but everything for mind, body, and spirit. Um, and this is idea. all related to what's happening for us coming up in March and April, where we're gonna be focused more on detoxing inside and out so whether that's in your relationships your home or your body i am for it what are we cooking that smells so good we are cooking a totally veggie laden soup uh, i made some homemade broth and we've added just a ton of vegetables there's no legumes there's no grains everything we see here is vegan so we just add a few of these last vegetables here to polish it off. We've green got beans. our green beans. We like They're to cut faves. those in smaller one inch pieces or so. We're gonna add a bunch of yummy squash. And then when it's all finished here, we're gonna top it off with vegan pesto, which is one of my favorite things to make. Oh, interesting. It's so fast and so easy. I make mine in my blender. A food processor mm -hmm. works just as well too and I add kale to it. So there's some sneaky greens yeah, in there. Yes, so you have to sometimes hide the kale, but. Yeah, um, <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. That's a good way to do it. So when you put absolutely. that in the, or use it as a topper for the soup, then you get that yeah. extra flavor. Absolutely, absolutely. Terrific. So here's the finished soup here. It looks so good. And so yeah, like I said, we just take a little bit of this pesto, and I just made this last night, and we add a dollop of that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, have you been having a fairly easy time learning how to make things vegan rather than just vegetarian? Yeah, I I have. Um, Do I get a, a taste please, of this? Please, <laughs> please taste it. It's please just sitting there calling my name. Go for it. Sure. Yeah. So go ahead, tell us about vegan versus vegetarian. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Google is your friend, right? If there's anything that you love and you're mm -hmm. wondering, there's... Mm tons and tons and tons of people out there giving you ideas for alternatives and options but I just love to experiment I grow a lot of my own food at home we have a great climate for that here in the Northwest that is really good oh fabulous and it's packed full I love that with a vegetable soup yeah just lots of stuff, but that pesto really it really sets it off a little bend, and right? um, and that's what we love we you know a lot of people think vegan they think bland they think vegetables mm -hmm. they think boring and it just doesn't have to be that way one of my kind of go-to's is that I, I really like rainbows so yeah. I want to eat I want to get all the colors I can in there and they say that's one of the best ways to figure right? out if you have a healthy diet exactly. are you eating the rainbow so you yeah, have some other snacks here I brought that I want to talk about too. do you want me to we, hand we, you these um, uh, sure sure so these what are, are these our spiced roasted chickpeas wow. chickpeas are a fantastic alternative to roasted nuts you can try those too as well uh, they're very very crunchy uh, and you can adjust what the time. Like having a nut. That's yeah, really it is. Except that uh, they don't have that high fat content, mm -hmm. and they do have six grams of protein per serving. So these I just use canned chickpeas, which saves me a little bit of time. I'm a stay-at-home mom primarily, so you know, as much as I love to do all this, I still have to be savvy about how I use my time. People are gonna like those. Those are delicious. Those have a little bit of sweet coming from coconut sugar. And then they also have some lovely spices like chili and paprika, a touch of cayenne, delish, delish. and a little salt. And then we, we have kale, kale chips. The, now the kale's not, not hiding. Here. It's not hiding it at all. It is in plain all. view, people. It is. It is. Um, and these are very savory. Again, feel free to give them a shot. Don't have to and ask again, them twice. Not boring I really at like all. Kale chips. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. And you know, good. kale chips. Um, you know, they're just so easy to make. One bunch of kale makes you an entire cookie tray full of them. You just massage them with a bit of olive oil. And then these are seasoned here with some nutritional yeast and a little cumin um, and a little black pepper and garlic powder. So, so easy 
to do. So we should experiment a little bit. I think yes. kale got a bad rap because we all got some. We got kale out. Said, there was oh, kale you know, obsession. Kale. So people would have a bite of raw kale, and that's actually not very yummy. But it's you know, tough. It just needs a, it's yeah, tough. It needs so a this has been massaged with, with olive massaged, oil. Massaged. It's been yes. baked. These are great ideas. And are we sharing the soup recipe? We are sharing the recipe on the website, I believe. Awesome. Yeah, Good. absolutely. For but all of these things. All Thank of you. these things, and for the homemade veggie broth that was the base for that as well because Perfect. that to me entertain, is key. Yes, then we might as well have oh, some yeah. really healthy things to share with our guests. Be That's sure to right. check out New Day's website for all of the recipes that Lindsay shared today and tell us how you like them. You're going to like these chickpeas. Up next, a neuroscientist explain what love does to our brains after this. Thanks.